Do you kick this out, Ben? What? Huh? Did you kick? Did you what? kick us out? No, you never joined. I didn't kick you out, did I, Falcon? No. The host. Did you kick him out? <laughs> Sana? He's uh, he's not in the oh, call no, anymore. I haven't kicked him out. <laughs> he's gone. He's not in. <laughs> Have you been kicking him out? You definitely what? kicked me out then. You definitely what? kicked me out. <laughs> I haven't done anything. <laughs> don't give me that. <laughs> I didn't realise I could do that. I, so I, I saw notifications. It was like, the host has requested to see your video. So I, so I knew. <laughs> All I heard from Sanal was, the host has, and then you were just gone. <laughs> <laughs> the host has terminated me. Hello and welcome to episode six of Ready Steady Chat with me, Falgan and Sir Now. This week we'll be talking about our pet peeves at university. There'll be another wonderful episode of Let's Play a Game and we'll discuss some of the funniest news stories of the week. So now, what have you been up to this week, mate? Tell you what, Ben, that introduction, it was zero to 100 so fast. Oh! <laughs> 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 but I liked it. I liked it. But I'll answer your question. I'll answer your question. We'll dive, we'll dive straight into it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I started university this week, actually. Started you my start, master's. You started uni, did you? I had my one lesson face to face on on the Thursday, and everything else was online. Have you met anyone yet? Like, course oh, mates? Uh, few people. Yeah, few people. More, a couple online, a couple in person. Are they like you not ideal do they like me yeah do they like you <laughs> i haven't asked them the question yet i haven't okay. the question <laughs> <laughs> i more mean, i more mean when you met them are you running after them or are they happily to be in the company <laughs> no i haven't had anyone block me yet so that's a good sign <laughs> nice to see nice to see how about how about you guys <laughs> we all started uni me and Fa are going to do the same course because we cannot be separated from each other <laughs> we just love each other so much. Yeah, yeah. So we've we've had an adventurous week, haven't we, Falcon? Yeah, yeah. We had three classes. We did have three classes. Had a couple of meetups, all socially distanced and adhering to government guidelines before anyone writes in. Hmm. Where did you meet up? Uh, we went to bowling, which is really weird and hot and sweaty with a mask on. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, it's weird actually seeing all these new things. Like you can only put, you can oh, about to say you can only put your fingers in certain balls, but that's a bit dodgy. Um, oh, you dear, could. Oh, oh no! You could, don't clip that bit. But you could <laughs> you you can only use balls with stickers on, and it, obviously you can have a drink. Um, you take masks off when you have a drink, but apart from that, masks up at all the time. Do you know what I think the thing I find so annoying about all these places is when you go in now is the hand gel there. What well, I don't know what it is about industrial hand gel, but it's so slippery, it's vile. It's just slimy. And some of it some of it isn't even slimy, some of it's just straight up water. Yeah, I, I prefer the water ones. Yeah. I don't like the slimy ones. They stick around for so long after. It ain't good because you like walk around the shops, don't you? You just got water dripping from your hands basically. So <laughs> you're trying try to dry. <laughs> just pick you know, pick it up stuff and drop it on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah they, yeah. so we've been, yeah, been busy been so with bowling do you have to select a bowl so do you have to select a bowl and stick to it um, no so sorry so you know how there's like two lanes and then you share like a booth yeah uh, so the other side the first lane gets there gets balls without stickers and the second lane gets balls with stickers on them oh uh, right 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 so you know okay yeah. Yeah, it's oh, it, well it is. Yeah, so you're obviously separated. And, yeah, it's it's, it's, it's it's I suppose it's a weird experience, but as with everything now, you seem to just get used to it. You know what I mean? Hmm. Yeah, over time it becomes normalised. Maybe it'll be strange going back to how it was before. Well, it's the same with like um, at uni when you're going when we're going into class and you normally when you go in first off you're like don't know where to sit. Now you've got really no choice because you've got ticks and crosses and where you're, where you're allowed, allowed to actually sit. Um, yeah, that's it. And they've taken half the chairs out as well. Is that just so they don't have to sit next to you? <laughs> <laughs> no, for hours, the tables have stickers on them where you can sit where you can't sit. Yes, yeah, same for us. Yeah. You must have, co you must have copied us. Uh, us uh, jumping on Southampton's <laughs> ideas. <laughs> uh, oh. 
we also we also had a shield. So where the teacher stands or the tutor stands right at the front, mm-hmm. and there was a shield, and then we sat. Do, do you guys have oh. that? Do you what, not like to... the pro- like the president of the United States? They have bulletproof glass between you. Yeah, and like them. that. I didn't try shooting at it, so I can't quite <laughs> confirm that one. But <laughs> do you not have it, to wear masks? It was. Um, yeah, we have to wear masks as well. Oh uh, yeah, but I said we have to wear masks the whole time. So there's no shields. So obviously, Pompey Uni couldn't afford the shields. <laughs> yeah, we're potentially. We're, we're obviously not paying them enough in the, stu- in the tuition fees. I need a bit more money. <laughs> <laughs> Struggling to get out timetables, so I think shields are a bit beyond, beyond them. <laughs> well, they must have had to like vastly improve their internet services this year. Yeah. I've, Hello, Mr. I've Netflix. Been... How do you run a streaming service? <laughs> 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 That's what we're looking to do. <laughs> Did you have to do any icebreaker stuff? Uh, thankfully, we didn't. Our tutor oh. just rocked up and he was, just went straight into it. There was nothing. I've, I think it's weird when you first meet new people and you've got your mask on. And normally, when you're talking to people, you kind of use your facial expressions, don't you? You smile or agree with <laughs> and, at t- and at times, I kind of forget I'm wearing a face mask. So I'm probably not just staring intently at people while underneath I'm smiling, <laughs> but you can't see it. <laughs> yeah. I've done two. Um... Uh, icebreaker sessions now it's so uh, painful well, what do you now, do for them so one of them was uh, what would you do if you had a million dollars or something classic classic uh, remember when we tried to do that yeah <laughs> funny enough Falcon, Falcon didn't say that he was going to get a business and they just sack everyone that worked there <laughs> <laughs> did he say that he was going to exploit people or did he not say that one either no not on the first meet ah uh, okay I'm sure he'll get to it. Yeah, he's got just got just got to get a bit more comfortable around these new people. <laughs> We're probably going to have to do an, a, a few more icebreakers now because we haven't started our proper classes, have we? So, I tell you what, though, they, uh, it's one thing I actually yeah. hate is icebreakers. Like, what did make me laugh? Though, it was one of the teachers. She went normally. I'll, I'll ask a question like say an interesting fact about you, and someone says. Oh, what their favourite football team is, and I'm like, I'm not doing that because it's boring. And I thought, Angus, Ang- does she know what I was going to say? <laughs> <laughs> I thought, how rude! <laughs> what was what was your icebreaker, Ben? What did you have to do? I was in the same thing as Falgun, so I had the million pound thing. I, mine was my million pound thing was nice and simple. I wanted to live abroad. Um, I wanted to buy a place, a villa in Spain, not in a Benidorm part of Spain, in a nice part of Spain. Not say Benidorm, it's not a nice part of Spain for those of you who live there. But um, in, a, in a different part of Spain. And yeah, but you sometimes it was a bit thing. You go around the class and some people are like, oh, I'd, I'd, care, I'd donate to charity and stuff like that. And then you feel like, oh, maybe it was a bit of a dick by saying, well, I'm just going to buy a place abroad and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to keep everything. Yeah. not going to share. <laughs> yeah. People are like, I'm going to give to family and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, I didn't think of that. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, yeah. Actually, remember, actually, thinking back well, on it, thinking well, back on it, we did have an icebreaker, but it was um, it was like a discussion board online, where the tutors started a thread, and we just had to introduce ourselves, saying like where we're from, why we why we're doing this module, um, um, and what we're hoping to get from it. All pretty boring stuff. Yeah. To be fair, it was a bit similar to us with the white about kind of they um they they gave an introduction to the module, and then they said why do this why do this um course and i was a bit like well surely it's a bit late to be doing why i do this course you've already got me do you know what i mean i'm already committed <laughs> to the university i can't back out now you've already got my money <laughs> well the government's money yeah that's true but anyway on the on the topic of universities we we're going to discuss because we both all returned to university this week um we we're going to discuss pet peeves i believe about unis weren't we yeah that's it that's it what have you what's your pet peeve falcon if we start with falcon Mine was icebreakers. Ben stole it. I <laughs> Come on, Ben. Go on then, Ben. What's yours? Mine. Okay. I haven't actually. This this is more going back to when I was an undergraduate, and you spend a bit more time in uni. Now you're not allowed to see me spend that much time with all the COVID stuff. But it yeah. is food at uni. Absolutely dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. What? What? No, what but the uh, um. The hub. The hub. They're quite nice. No, it's dreadful. You like the the first year they had this is, so this is for Portsmouth Uni and I've actually I hope if you work at Portsmouth Uni and you work in the hub I do apologise but your food's rubbish but um, this yeah. is a lie yeah lie it what, is what it's about expensive 
What about the hub sub sub hub thing? Yeah, the sub hubs, man. No, yeah, the bread's so the nice. bread's the bread's too thick. The bread's oh, too thick. You. Oh, the bread's too thick is oh my goodness. Oh no, there's too much bread. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, I can't get my mouth around the bread. Oh. Yeah. There's children starving in Africa, man. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, Falcon, but the bread's too thick. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Falcon, do you remember um, that pizza I got when we were revising? It was like absolutely burnt to a crisp. It was horrific. Yeah, but did to you eat fair, it? If buying pizza in a cafe is not a good idea. It's like yeah, ordering well, steak in uh, Weatherspoons and expecting it to be perfect. What? No, because they like, charge you a ripple for like a slice of pizza. It's, it's a pound sandwiches. a slice. A pound a slice. No, 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 no. Listen, I'm not having this. You come to the sandwiches. I used to buy sandwiches. And the first year, they were lovely, decent sandwiches. You couldn't go wrong with them. Just normal sandwiches, be out tea. Second year, it was like tomatoes shipped across from some random place. It was some avocado, asparagus. It was like the most random shot you'd find in a sandwich. Put in all of the sandwiches. And then you'd charge you about £4 for it. He just wanted his ham and cheese sandwich. Yeah, he wasn't asking for much more. Uh, no. <laughs> it's so basic, Ben. Jeez. So maybe basic. Li- maybe on a brave day, a little bit of pickle involved. But um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you guys would be with me for this. I'm quite devastated. No, nah, nah. nah, because the hub subs, I thought they were yeah, excellent yeah, value for yeah. money. Okay. Yeah. Well, the, what amount, I would, the amount of what, stuff you could get in them. What I would say is, I'm easily bought, and if Hub Subs would like to sponsor this podcast, I'll happily advertise it. After you've <laughs> them, they're not going to sponsor you. <laughs> After you've murdered bread. their thick bread. No, I'll, <laughs> say, I'll say it's the best bread you could ever get. Hovis asked what Hovis asked what the re- recipe is. Yeah, they had whole meal and they had white bread. They had everything yeah. anyone could possibly ever want. They had whole choice. meal and white. What more can you want? <laughs> <laughs> We don't need God, hearty no. Italian or any other, any of no, that stuff. No. Go on, two options, no. plain and simple. For me, for me, it was uh, in the library. Actually, <laughs> how many times over the three years, man, did you go in the library? Um, the last, the last year more, <laughs> last year more. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'd say so, I'd say altogether about five times. <laughs> five times, ladies and gentlemen, a first class student. Right there. To be fair, the library is more social place at our university, isn't it? Don't like, say, yeah, but don't that's say the problem, that. yeah. That's yeah, my pet don't peeve. say that. That makes me sound like I'm anti-social. Oh, go on then, so now, go on then. That's my pet peeve. So it sometimes it's seen as too much of a social hub. So you get people in the quiet section whispering really loudly like no one can hear them. Mm. <laughs> Everybody can hear them. You're trying to sit there and do work, but nah, none of that. Just, hi, have you seen this Instagram video? <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. Yeah, you know, I used to I used to talk in the library as well, but uh, never in the quiet section. Awful. Your God your pet your, your pet peeve is talking in the quiet section. Oh, yeah, it's bad. Oh, you're and such a if teacher's you, if pet. You, if, I bet, if, I bet, if you had been in the library, you would have known. <laughs> no, I, I bet you. I bet no. To be fair, I've been in the quiet section. We're foul good. We'll sometimes whisper to each other. <laughs> <laughs> so you, like so you two, you two are the pet peeves that I'm talking about. Yeah, but I bet you grasp some people as well. No, absolutely you, not. But I bet you we'll did. I bet that, you dis- no, no. I bet you dis- I bet you disappear for five minutes. All of a sudden, you sit back down. <laughs> f- a couple of minutes. A couple of minutes later, the library staff turn up, and you're kind of sat there, tutting, shaking your head as this person getting kicked out of the quiet area. <laughs> not the library staff. The library security. Come no, on. Oh, you got, don't don't mess around. <laughs> <laughs> Straight to security. <laughs> Go in. So- someone's uttered a sentence in the quiet area. Please get them out. <laughs> Please find them. I do not want to see them ever again here. So, for, Fal, you're why? Like, it's only once or twice. I'm ignoring you now, so now I can't believe you're coming out of this. <laughs> Falcon, so why don't you? Why don't you like icebreakers? Why I don't? Ah, because it's most of the time it's uh, say something interesting about yourself. What do I say? Well, I know exactly what you say. You say you know six or seven languages like you did in the one when we first went to uni. But Classic. that was... But, yeah, but... Missed the show-off. I did, after I said it, I Yeah, missed the show-off. Yeah, like a show-off. <laughs> <laughs> you should have said it up. in it another worse. language. <laughs> oh, that would have been impressive. Yeah. But to be fair, I think um, it would have been worse 
if you if if you say I know six or seven languages but don't actually know them at all. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. If I if I sit there and went, oh, I know Spanish, German, and Italian, then people go, go on then. I go, well, I can't do it. So you do actually know languages. <laughs> so you know, is it is it that you know of the languages, Falgan? <laughs> yeah, you... I, know, I know about six <laughs> languages. <laughs> You've heard of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my days. But yeah, I yeah, well, I, I know Mandarin. That. <laughs> I do agree a bit. I do agree a bit with the icebreaker. I do find them awkward. I think it's more the kind of the the forced nature of it. I'd, normally, I'd rather just kind of meet people. You know what I mean? Without that kind of oh, say some weird fact about yourself. Mm. Why, why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? What more of a way to introduce yourself to someone? Huh? What more of a way to introduce yourself to someone by Hello, how like, are, like, saying how something? Are by bragging yeah about... but that's so formal isn't it that's so formal well, it's not formal what do you want to do to him what are you going to get say <laughs> i don't want, i don't want to do anything to, <laughs> to anybody <laughs> <laughs> if you say something like completely out the blue they'll, yeah. they'll think oh this guy's like must be a comfortable nut. around me a nut. A nut. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean out of the blue a psychopath what do you mean out of the blue like some random fact so I just walked up and went, hello, I like bacon and cheese toasties. They go, whoa, what a guy. <laughs> yeah, but that's not out of the blue. That's something you would expect from you. <laughs> <laughs> but I just, I, I don't know. I can't, I, no. I, I'm, I, I agree with Falcon yeah, on the ice, icebreakers. Yeah. So what we've learned well, is then. Sanal is into, yeah. Sanal doesn't like weird things. And no, so Sanal doesn't eat thick bread. Yeah, and, Fal- and Sanal likes to grass on people. Yeah. <laughs> I don't do that. But my story is about that later on, but we'll save that. We'll save before it for that, later. Let's have the yeah. game. Yeah. Okay. Key jingle. We were worried the pod would be tame. So I said, why don't we play a game? So now my game needs a name. So I decided to call it Let's play a game. Let's play a game. Welcome to Let's Play a Game. I, I I believe this this week I'm going to try something a little bit different. A little bit different. Last last few weeks we've had more kind of question stuff, more based on your general knowledge. This week is I'd say more of a game of luck, but an interesting game and none of the less. Um, so I've got <laughs> eight products from Amazon. And I'm going to ask, I'm going to give you the eight names of the products. You can have a little discussion if you wish, but you both got to give me a price. And the closest to that price of the product gets a point. Is that simple? Okay. Yes, yeah, that makes sense. This, uh, yeah. There's no discounts involved, right? No, it's just a price of whatever it says next to it. I haven't researched that much. It's not in anything to do with like Prime or anything like that. So, Are, are, these, are these brand new items or are they used items? Um, most of them are brand new, I believe, but I will give you some information. You can ask a couple of questions about it. I'm not going to be funny. I'm okay. not going to be thing, but basically, whoever gets closest. And I think I'll call the game is, how much is it? Very self-explanatory, <laughs> like most of my games. Very so creative. Can you, can you guys remember who won last time? It was Obviously Sanal. me. It was now, wasn't it? Because I remember being <laughs> devastated. Um, so, actually, no, I'm just thinking... What a load of rubbish. I'm talking shite. That doesn't matter, does it? Because I'm going to give you the first product and you're both going to give me the price for it. So the first product is a Martin Smith W100NPK acoustic guitar kit with guitar strings, guitar plectons, and guitar straps. How much do you reckon oh. it is? So it comes with the guitar? Yeah, it is a guitar. It don't oh, come, okay. You don't get a guitar with a guitar. It is a guitar. You don't get two guitars. No, you get strings and then with it you get guitar. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a hoover. You get the handle and then you get the hoover with it. <laughs> Did he say electric then? No, it's acoustic guitar. So acoustic. not electric. Okay. The opposite of electric. Yeah. Okay. And I'm what gonna... happens if we both say the same price? You you bore the listeners and it's not brilliant for entertainment value, but you are allowed to say the same price. Excellent. Okay. What I will do, what I will do is though, as you won last time, I'll give you the choice of whether you give me the price first or second for this one. I'll give it second. Okay, Falcon, how much do you reckon the guitar is? Uh, two ninety nine. So now, uh, two seventy seven. 
And the price of the guitar is £59.99. So now wins. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're only off by 220. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> One point to Sonal. The game gets better. The next product is a Defer Home USB bike light set. It's a rechargeable battery, super bright bicycle light, bike lights front and back. And even more exciting, it's waterproof. So basically, it's a white and a red bike light. You know, you see them on the front of the back of the bikes. Quite simple. So obviously, Sonal, you gave second last time. How much do you reckon the bike lights are? Eight pounds. Eight pounds. Falgum? Nine pounds. Oh, oh no. It's nine pound ninety nine. Nine pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you, I haven't sh- I haven't shared this with Falcon before. I <laughs> was so close, Falcon. So no. close. <laughs> what one one? Um, yeah. The next product is. So now you will know Arsene Wenger, don't you? Yes. Falcon, yes, if you yes, don't yes. know, he is. He used to be Arsenal manager, manager for many, many years. He's Ooh. released. Arsene Wenger, he's released oh. a book. It's called My Life in Red and White, my autobiography, and it's the hardcover version. How much would it cost you? Is, um, he, is he a good a good manager? He was a... Well, it depends, actually. Uh, more towards the end, maybe not so, but he was quite a decent, very famous manager, at least, okay. and he was very, very good, especially at the start of his Arsenal career. I um, always found it amazing how his name was Arsene, and he managed Arsenal. Yeah, as a kid, I always thought that was the link. <laughs> I didn't realise that I thought that, so that was somehow how they're linked <laughs> this, this, yeah well given the fact that football fans are not really the reader types um, I'm going to say it's quite high lucky, because they'll have to make it up right through the they'll have to make it up okay what £29.99 £29 yeah so now £21 it's £13.60 so now wins that's quite cheap actually yeah. Two ones for now, yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the audio book is a bit more expensive. So if you want Arsene Wenger, I don't know actually if Arsene Wenger's doing it, talking it. If he did is, you know quite... Ben? Did you hear? And Falgan, he proposed oh. some crazy new rules the other day. For did football? you see that? No. Yeah, for football. No. So if it's in your own half, you don't have to throw it in. You could kick it in. Yeah. Um, and also, if it goes out when you take a corner, it's okay. Yeah. So like you know, when it swings back in. I'll there was one more I can't remember. What a crazy man. Thank you for that input on my game, Sunil. Um, <laughs> That's right, question four. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your game, is it? So <laughs> <laughs> Let's continue with this, uh, this you game then. See, you don't see us on the chase. Bradley Walsh arguing with one of the contestants. <laughs> <laughs> question four. It is a pack of Jesty's pack of 10 anti-slip reusable rug grippers for wooden and hard floors. They are... Rush what rushable washable rug pads or carpet <laughs> stickers for all types and sizes of rugs. So basically, stickers on your bottom. It's quite a useful product. Stickers at the bottom of your rug, so you don't so it doesn't slip them out. So now, how much do you reckon that is? Three pound fifty. Three pound fifty. Falcon. Uh, four pound ninety nine. Oh, six pound seven pence. Oh, really? Yeah. That's a fortune. Well done. Two t- fortune. I ain't paying that for rug grippers. <laughs> ben. <laughs> I'd, ra- I'd rather slip. <laughs> ben, is this your uh, wish list? It's so boring. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, Jesus <laughs> Christ, Ben. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it gets it gets more exciting with question five yeah. because it's, it's an Oculus Quest 2 advanced all-in-one virtual reality headset, 256 Ooh. gigabytes. You should have put this one first because now half our listeners are, are asleep, all two of them. <laughs> they went with the rug grippers. <laughs> they didn't want to listen further. <laughs> I believe, Falgon, you are going to give me the price, what you think the price is first. £300. Ooh. So now. £300. Okay. Uh, £301. Oh, that's scummy, oh. Ben. That's con- scummy. It's hard. just that... That type of guy, isn't he? That type yeah. of guy. <laughs> the type, the type of guy that grass and you in the library as well. Yeah. Um, oh no, <laughs> I would never. <laughs> Unless you're shouting in the library, then I will. <laughs> I'm sorry, Falcon. It is three hundred and ninety-nine pounds. Come yeah. on. Oh, three two for now. <laughs> so it's very close. It is very close. Very exciting. 
The next one is the men <laughs> the men science men skincare shave kit. It has shaving cream gel, aftershave balm, and a toiletry bag. Is this a list of your recent orders, Ben? (laughs) 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 You've got to have aftershave balm, haven't you? Can't go wrong. that's true. And you want your toiletry bag. How are you going to carry all your your toiletries otherwise? Self-care is the best care. Thank you. (laughs) So so you're asking us how much is a toiletry bag? With with some products in it, yeah. The game game is called How Much Is It? And I'm asking you, how much is it? (laughs) I'm going to say it's twelve ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine, Falcon. Uh, Thirteen ninety nine. Oh, he's totally gone and done it. <laughs> he's he's closest because it's actually forty five pounds and five pence. No way. Yeah, it's quite expensive, isn't it? That is expensive aftershave. I want to smell like David Beckham after that. But aftershave <laughs> is usually more expensive, isn't it? Yeah. But that's exciting for the game. It is free, free. Question or product number seven. Two more to go. Harry Potter, the complete eight film collection in DVD. DVD. DVD is the key bit there. 30 pounds. Is that my go? Oh, it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, that was your... your, Uh... Yeah. Now that's annoying because I was going to say 29.99, but now that you said 30... And to make it ultra competitive, yeah. uh, Should I? Should I? Okay, I'll say thirty-one. It's thirty-three pound ninety-nine. Yes, Uh, yes. (laughs) So, Falgun, you will need to get closest to this one to send us to a tiebreaker. Yeah, it is a. Actually, so now we'll have to give me the price first on this one. It is the ceramic plant pot and bamboo base. An indoor oh and God, outdoor ben. succulent You are so planter. boring, man. <laughs> are, this is definitely so a boring. wish list. <laughs> how, much are, how much are my cactus and small house plant white pots? Is it just the pots? Yeah, it's two pots. Two yeah, how pots. tall are they? They're not very tall. They're more for the cactus. Cactus aren't big, are they? So they're more wide. More wide. More wide. More wi- wide pots. Wide pots, yeah. Okay. Um, they're, they're white. And you get two of them. You, you still get two of them. Yeah, they've <laughs> taken one away in the last 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, we get it. Uh, I'm going to go for 13 pounds. 13 pounds. Falcon, how much are my pots? 20 Oh, oh good, it's ten pounds forty nine. Um, oh no. <laughs> A man who has zero experience of buying cacti, Father Maya. <laughs> <laughs> a boring man won a boring game. <laughs> Congratulations. Hosted by an even more boring man. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd put some exciting stuff on there, some unusual stuff, but no. <laughs> and uh, shaving kids. Yeah, and Jesus. <laughs> so, I was expecting you to like put in a dildo or something, but okay. that never came, oh, which is, is that, a good is thing. That, is that your speci- specialty, that you, you've got a brilliant price knowledge of dildos? It's not my specialty, it's well, something I one- know you've ordered. You're the one that's just said it. Yeah, I know, but I did. I looked at different things. I didn't go on my own, my own orders. So, thank you for that. So now, thank you for that, Falcon. Oh, so you have ordered it? Oh, he's still coming back in. So, <laughs> for that. <laughs> sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> So, thank you for playing. Let's play a game this week. So now, who's your winner once again? Unfortunately, come and join us again next week for more entertaining <laughs> games. Au revoir. So, yes, what a wonderful another game, guys. Well done. What oh, exhilarating game that was, Ben. Absolutely exhilarating. It must have got all the listeners out there. Yeah, we're about one. to get them out of seats even more because we're going to conf- co- we're going to confuse <laughs> the hell out of them by doing some funny stories at the end of the program. Yeah, that's a change. It is a change. Mixing up, isn't we? This is why we're excited. Mixing, mixing it up. What is what is your funny story then, Ben? Ah, uh, I think a cracker. I think more excited than my game. I think it is 
Well, I don't think it is. I can see it on my screen. It is potty mouth parrots split up zoo bosses after I fuck that up and I'll re- redo that again. So. <laughs> <laughs> You're the fuzzy par- <laughs> mouth parrot now. I don't know why I had parrots splitting up zoo bosses. <laughs> You're the fuzzy mouth parrot here. Yeah, but parrots splitting up the zoo bosses now is actually a better story than the actual, the actual story. But <laughs> <laughs> the actual story is potty parrots. <laughs> are you okay, Ben? <laughs> why are you struggling, man? <laughs> are you having okay. a stroke or something? <laughs> I'll go again. I'll go again. It, it, my, st- my story is potty mouth parrots split up by zoo bosses after egging each other on to swear. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you messed that up so much the first three times. <laughs> There were five foul mouth parrots that were separated at Lancashire Zoo. Would you like to know their names? Yeah, go on then. Of course you would. They were <laughs> Billy, Eric, Tyson, Jade, and Elsie. And apparently they were given a bit of that, like a bit of that, bit of the loud mouth. Really? Yeah, they kept swearing to each other and they had to be split <laughs> up because apparently you're not allowed to swear if you've got young kids nearby. So it's very unfortunate actually. They've been moved around the park. So it's like friends have been split up. So they're just swearing in different yeah. parts of the park. Although someone that works for the park actually said that when a parrot tells you to fuck off, it amuses people very highly. <laughs> <laughs> and to be fair, it does, doesn't it? Who would not want to see a potty mouth parrot? That's funny, but don't they? Don't parrots learn off people? Don't What's they your blame? What people say? Yeah, I no, thought that. Yeah, that'd be, so you're saying it's the zoo staff that taught them that? Potentially, yeah. Yeah, um, maybe the yes. zoo staff are actually arguing. Well, to, to be fair, there's guests who would like try, right? Can you say yeah. this? Can you oh, say that? he's yeah. done it before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do, do, I, I haven't watched the video and I think I'll need to, but apparently this is also the same park that's home to a parrot called Chico who made headlines back in September after learning to sing a range of pop songs, including Beyonce's If I Were a Boy. Um, uh, I'm I'm pretty sure that you were the one who taught uh, the parrot that. <laughs> what if I were a boy? <laughs> of course, everyone should know about Queen Bee. <laughs> <laughs> so they're quite yeah. a reputed uh, zoo then. Yeah, Got talent, talented. talented. Yeah, talented. Very, talented. Very talented parrots. Ah, that is interesting. What have you got for us, Mr. Sanel? Yes, so this week I have got... A story about rail workers in New York. These chaps, there's three of them. They got a, uh, they got disciplinaries from work because someone snaked on them. Oh, here we go. And it was because they they had a secret man cave. Yeah. Beneath one of the rail lines. Yeah. And they had a microwave, a TV, a fridge, a sofa, everything in there, the whole setup. And the, the snake, the guy who uh, snitched on them, was saying was that they. That no, was not me. That wasn't you. <laughs> it sounds like you. New York. It's not me. Sounds very much. Sounds very much like you. It's definitely not me. No, def- okay. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, they would go in, go in there, watch TV, get drunk, and have parties. Oh, what a what a life! Underneath so who, cool. who, who, do we know who? New York's Grand Central Station. Wow. So now, do you know? <laughs> do you know who snakes on them? No, I do not. <laughs> do you not? There's an anonymous tipper. <laughs> was it? Okay. And it was also, the room was also deemed a fire hazard because it was unmapped. No one knew, uh, like, because no one knew it was there. Uh, so health and safety have ruined everyone's fun. Car, classic health and uh, safety. <laughs> well, look, can you let people have that little bit of fun in 2020? <laughs> Jesus, absolute nightmare. No, no, no. You say 2020, but this is a long-going investigation. The tipper tipped They've this off for in, years. in Feb 2019. But they might have had this for years then, so they, someone's proper ruined this, this people's fun. Yeah. The one reason oh. they come into work. Wireman, a oh. carpenter, and an electrician. You definitely would do that, though, wouldn't you? The three amigos. I definitely wouldn't. You would. You would. You, you would. would. Definitely. Just be like, oh, you, no, you, no, no. You, you would do you it and then go... 
Yeah, do I get a promotion for doing that? You would. <laughs> no, you're making me out to be the worst kind of human being. No, no, I'll no, never no, no. do answer that. The, an, answer this question. If you're in that scenario and if you grasped, it would meant you get promoted, would you do it? Absolutely not. You, you wouldn't? I would never. Not even for like... Oh, <laughs> I gonna, wouldn't do it. You're going to get 10 grand extra a year. <laughs> no, I need a million and then I'll move out to Spain with you. Okay, because to be fair, I'll do it. For that sounds romantic. <laughs> I, I'd, I'd, I'd grass him up for the extra 10 grand. <laughs> <laughs> of course you would. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Malia, what have you got for us? My story is about a man, about a Florida man charged with... Man. <laughs> yeah, a, a Florida man charged with impersonating an officer after he pulled over the off-duty pol- police officer. So Wait, was, what? So, a Florida man. Oh, oh I get it, I get it. Yeah, he, yeah. He's still a Florida man. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, basically, he was pretending, pretending to be a police officer, pulled over an off-duty police officer, and got caught. <laughs> Did he try charging an off-duty police officer? I think so, right? I mean, that, yeah. what's the point of all that if uh, you're not going to make some money out of it, I guess? It would be a massive though. power trip. Yeah. To, be, to be fair, I, I find that quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel sorry for the guy when he re- must have realised when the actual police officer said, hang about, I'm a police officer. Uh, the guy in, in being the imposter must have thought, oh, shite. <laughs> <laughs> I think on his face there's pictures of him on uh, Twitter. Yeah. Uh, and he's like, oh, God, <laughs> what am I going to do on his face? <laughs> I, ho- I, I hope he got a few few goes at, like, just doing it, though. I hope that wasn't the first person he, pu- he pulled over, because that would be well gutting, wouldn't it? Uh, did yeah, he, or, did like, he... if he was reading him his rights. <laughs> so, oh, wait, let me try that again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the actual police officer was ha- giving him a hand, though. No, no, you've got to practice that. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently he was caught because the actual off-duty police officer... Uh, like realized that none of the badges or writing on his uh, like uniform made any sense. Oh, so, no way. so he wasn't yeah. very prepared then, was he? He didn't really no, research no. into his trade. Yeah. So he just went to space like a fancy dress shop, probably, and just got some police. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I want to look like, like a sheriff. <laughs> how do you yeah. go through that process though? Just waking up one morning and going, "I'm a bit bored today." Most of the thing, you know what I mean? I don't want to watch TV. I'm just going to go out and pretend to be a police officer. <laughs> he has an SUV with the police written all over it, but his uniform <laughs> doesn't say police anyway, it just says criminal task force on it. Oh. <laughs> they must have run out of stock of the police one. Yeah. <laughs> he, he prepared with a car and everything. Oh, I'm actually gutted for the guy. Takes incredible self confidence to do that, though. Yeah. Very did, much so. Yeah. And it turned out he didn't have a valid driver's license when actual police oh, showed up. No, no. <laughs> now I feel bad for the man. <laughs> what an idiot. What an idiot. <laughs> what, what actually happened to him anyway? Uh, he was arrested. Uh, yeah. And then he was bailed out, apparently. That's all. Uh, by another police he, officer. He was sent back to <laughs> acting class. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a graduate that got out early. <laughs> To be fair, doing it with a driving license is silly. Doing it without a driving license, you're just asking for trouble, aren't you? Come on. That's disastrous. What a plonker. What a plonker. That is funny, Falcon. That was a funny story. Saving the funnies for the last. It was. It was a very, very, very wonderful story. Very wonderful story. Yep. And that brings us to the end. Ben, take it away. Oh, I was going to let you have a go, but no, don't don't worry. Then this is my bit. Then this is the ch- ch- chance I shine. I'll, I'll I'll do I'll do the hard work. Okay. Thank you for listening to episode six of Ready Steady Chat. If you don't follow us, I know it's not say on every episode, but do follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Ready Steady Chat. If you're listening to this on YouTube, like and subscribe, leave a review wherever you do listen. That would be very, very grateful. It's even better if it was a nice one. And until next episode, from me, Falcon and Sanal, au revoir.